so I got those motors now. I'm gonna install them. I've got these cool little side access panels. You can reach in here and you know loosen up your belly bands. Not bad. <laughs> Had to drag a ladder up here. covers off, go down in here, pull off these uh, electrical covers for these. Well, the first thing you want to do, I, 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 I should tell you what the first thing you want to do is, you got to go over there to the electrical box. You got to make sure you got no power going to them. Now, they're calling, all of them are calling. Now, the first thing I did was I traced back my orange wire back over here and pulled it off of the, off of the, uh, controller and I did the same thing with my yellow wire pulled it off see it's hanging out back there you got that right and then also you gotta be careful because you'll have voltage coming in on the other side the common and that was that was a black wire which is this one so I, I killed power to both of my contactors and then I pulled the fuses out six fuses put them right there so I'm good to go on power for those two motors I'm changing Anyways, then once you got your power off, you gotta get these you gotta get these screws off. And sometimes these uh, these fan blades are a real bitch to get off. And uh, you know, for the most part, you can't get them off unless you, know, you want to wear yourself out with a blade puller. But if you're you, know, you just get the new blade, replace the blade with the motor, and you're good. Don't even bother uh, trying to get the motors off. Order new motors with blades every time. If you don't, you're going to come across a situation to where you're not going to be able to get one of these blades off and you're going to go have to tell the customer that it's going to cost you cost them more money. Either that or you're going to uh, you're going to eat it yourself. These blades are a couple hundred bucks each most of the time. Huh. Interesting message there. Can y'all believe that they got these, all that unit right there, that entire unit, that whole coil, that's scrap. That's all scrap. There's another one behind it too. Good scrap. Man. Dude, that's like, man, that's like several thousand dollars worth of number one coils right there anyways moving on where were we oh yeah we're over here so we take this electrical cover off mm. oh yeah and be careful with the, with the coil down there you know if you drop a big enough socket down there you'll rupture the coil and blow a 400 pound charge you don't want to do that Probably not a bad idea to double check these, uh, you know, for voltage. It's not a bad idea. Because 460 volt ain't no bitch. Then you take off your ground, you know, for the ground wire. It doesn't hurt to bend, you can bend these up too, you know, since you're trashing them. Well, bending these ones don't do that much good because these here, they're freaking solid. Those are some solid arms. You can't really uh, bend those unless you're really manly. Oh yeah, and don't forget, you got this little window right here that you can do some of your work out of too. So yeah.
came down here for my needle nose, that's right. Nipple pinchers. You always want to grab these things with some needle nose, no matter what. Because they're on there pretty hard. That one. Eek. That one. Take this one off. Might not be a bad idea to pull this out. That weird wire didn't get all twisted up. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, that's really in there, ain't it? Then once you're all unwired and you got your damn wires, uh, Romex seal type connector, whatever that was called, pulled out your motor, you're ready to loosen the belly band and go back up and lift them out. So like this one's ready to loosen the belly band, I go up there and lift it out. This one here, I just gotta loosen this damn seal tight. Ooh, this motor's hot. Woo wee! Ooh, it's hot. All right, so once you loosen your your bolt and your lock nut, you want to pound the belly band down to the bottom. That way, these are all free, and they're not holding your motor anymore, for the most part, at least. And then you can go up top and lift them out, just like that. Don't let them fall on your roof, though, because you'll, you'll just you'll mess your roof up. Man, these motors, man, they're heavy, yo. You gotta be manly to lift those things up and and rope them up, you know, from down there and carry them up the stairs and rope these ones down. At least it's good scrap money. Yeah, look at all this scrap right there. Just look at that. You know, this older, these older coils have that thick copper, man. These coils are freaking heavy, man. Damn it. Damn it! So we got our new motor, or one of them, blades, uh, right there. I'm gonna do them one at a time. It's important to make sure that your voltage switch or plug is correct. This comes pointing at 480, you see? 460, 480. Same thing. Well, not same thing, but kind of. Set the motor in there with this thing pointing towards this arm right here. Then we'll tighten our belly band and hook her back up. Now, it's important you want to make sure that, that your leads don't get close to each other. This is, this is not like optimal. This is not, I, I, I almost want to redo these damn connections. I might just redo them because they're old, they're worn out, they're crappy. This is ridiculous. All right, well that's a little better, I guess. But you wanna keep your leads as far away from each other as you can, or as far away from arcing, like on, on the casing over here, so it's about the best we're gonna get. You put your electrical cover on, and you go mount your blade, blades I got over there, put the fan guard on then we change out the contactor turn it on and man make sure your rotation's right because you got a uh, three-phase motor so you got a 50 50 shot of it spinning the right direction or spinning the wrong direction verify rotation and, and man that's about it all right once you got your contactor in and you're all ready to go 
you want to give it a bump start just like like that then you come over here and you look at it it's spinning the wrong direction so then you take either one of these and you switch them so I switched T2 and T3 with each other now that's verified rotation and that's the contactors got those three fuses out because I got one more motor to do the contactors are done Now I got my last motor, about to go in, almost home free. And now uh, the motor's in, put in my fuses one at a time, and my camera actually didn't pick up the third one. Oh well. Now I'm going to bump it. And that is not the turning in the right the direction. Grab a flathead, and we're going to switch around any two of the load side leads, and no, they are not hot yet, so you don't have too much to worry about. There's always risk, but you'll be alright if you're careful. Just be careful. I do this because I'm comfortable with it, and I've been doing it for many, many years. So this yellow one is going to go on the, right there, where I put it. And now they're all on. Turn in the right direction. And, and that's it. So you can see here, all six contactors are on. We've got all six fans going. This job has been completed. We are good to go. Thanks for watching till the very end. I appreciate y'all very much. Let me know if you guys want me to do something specific.